Hello, my name is Emma, and you know that feeling when you're creating and everything's going good and smooth and you keep on going and wonder, hey, I've been doing good for a little, a little too long now. Huh, I guess it's just easier for me now to create. Yeah, that's kind of what happened to me. I had a different video planned for this week, but kept hitting problems that really wrecked my motivation for it, and that kind of stuff really bums me out. I always end up fixating on something completely different, and I can't get the other thing done. I still plan on making that video, but it's going to take some more time. Yeah, art block is a tough fight, especially when trying to be consistent, but I'm going to give myself a pass and just use this video to tell you some tips and tricks that I've used that usually helps me at least a little bit. Also, if you want to see more of my content, I post on TikTok a lot. A lot of people ask about Instagram, but I haven't posted since, I don't know, like it's been months. It's kind of bad, but I kind of hate Instagram now. Anyway. This usually helps me at least a bit. For me, my problems usually come from repetitive things and drawing similar things over and over. It can really make me feel unmotivated and stuck in a loop pretty much. I wouldn't really recommend doing out of comfort zone things or high effort things unless you're up for it because you can easily get discouraged. I've done that so many times where I tried to bite off more than I can chew and it just goes terribly. <laughs> I would say more mid-level things like if you mostly draw humans or characters, maybe focus on objects or animals. Make a pet for your OC if you have any. What would their bag look like? What would items in their bag look like? You could design stuff like that. Small things. You could just sketch something different from what you usually do. And that can sometimes help you get out of that rut you're in. Another thing you could do in line with this is changing your drawing process. What I mean by that is reworking the way you draw. A couple years ago, I was very set in my ways. I would sketch, do line art, and color. And though that's completely okay to do, and that is a good way to draw, I'm not saying that, it really limited me personally. I felt like I couldn't break from what I was doing, like I had to follow these rules that I set for myself, and if I broke them, it would like ruin the whole thing somehow. But for the past year, I've tried several different ways to render my pieces, and it kept it's kept my art process fresh and engaging while also improving my art a lot, in my opinion. I've probably improved more this year than I have in the past three years. And I'm mostly talking about digital art. This is mostly digital art because I that's just what I do for the most part. But you, you can also apply this advice to traditional artwork in some ways. I don't have like crazy experience anymore with it, but if you do digital art like me, here's a few ways to render. And a lot of you probably already do this. I'm just saying some ways I personally do. Go straight into rendering from sketch. What I do is make a sketch and color in flat colors. I clean it up as best as I can. It doesn't have to be perfect though. Then I merge the two and start shading on top. What I often do also to make the sketch blend with the drawing more is Instead of just a black base sketch, I'll take a clipping mask over the sketch and make it a darker color of the flat colors underneath. So let's say, for example, your skin tone is a pale skin tone. I would usually use like a red or a dark red for the line art. Um, it just kind of softens it up and it's easier to work with. Your colors aren't going to get so muddy if you have a black sketch and you can easily blend and stuff if you want to blend. Um, I also stress, I know everybody says this, what I'm saying is not new, I just wanted to tell you guys what I personally do. Um, use references. Like, everybody says that, I'd be like, oh, whatever, use a reference, uh, I don't need to use a reference use them they help so much i've improved tenfold by using references it's just so helpful uh, they can really help you with form and anatomy and all that kind of stuff 
Another way is to go from a sketch to a black and white rendering, which how I do it is I take the airbrush smear tool and shade with black, which basically means I take the sketch and I smear it and I add a little bit and I smear it and I shade like that. Then when I finish rendering in black and white, I add color underneath. You can also take it a step further by adding a clipping mask to the rendering and making the shading blend with the rest of the colors. So again, if like if it's black, I would take the clipping mask on skin tones, like pale skin tones, and make them pink or red or blue or stuff like that. It really, it's a different way of doing things. You can achieve this look totally differently, but it's fun playing around with this kind of style. I'm so sorry if I'm not explaining this very well either. I'm, I've never done a video like this, so I'm just throwing out ideas. If you guys want me to go more in depth into processes, I'll totally do that, but I don't know. I didn't want to like bore you. You can also just do baseline art and cell shade it and do all of that but you can take it a step further by making a layer over top of everything and basically adding a little embellishes like um more detail to the eyes on top or adding more blush or it can really add life to it you could also add little hair strands to the top of the drawing it does add a lot of life that maybe wasn't there before, at least for me, that's how I feel about it. Exploring is important is what I'm trying to say. It helps you grow a lot, and I wish I realized that sooner rather than later. I would have improved much faster than I had in the past. Something that helps also is if you are a primarily digital artist, maybe try to do more traditional work and vice versa. Again, changing it up always helps me a bit when I feel like I don't know what I want to draw anymore. Sketchbooks always make me feel a bit looser with my art, even though sometimes they're kind of intimidating, I won't lie. It doesn't feel high pressure for me all the time, um, even though it's not exactly what I prefer. It's a good avenue as well, but most artists do both, I know. It's common. Doing studies and quick exercises in sketchbook or digital art is really helpful in getting the gears going. And a traditional artist trying digital, if you have the means, could be really fun to play around with. It's a big difference, but it's interesting to explore. Taking screenshots from your favorite shows or movies and drawing them is a good way to get drawing without using your brain too much. That's always a problem for me. I just, sometimes I just want to turn my brain off and I just want to draw something that looks good and I don't want to think about it and I don't want to like have to like plan and do all this work and I'm just like, I just want to draw something that's not going to kill me. <laughs> it can also help with exploring color and composition. I usually like to avoid backgrounds though, especially when I have art block. It's a big no-no for me. I almost always do studies of portraits, like the neck up of faces, because faces are what I like to render the most. This is just a short little section, but hey, the Spider-Verse just came out, people. You know what to do. <laughs> Now, this is something I do when I just can't use my brain, but I still want to do something that I want to draw. Nothing is turning out right, and I need to draw at least something that can turn out decently. You can't really mess up a quick, loose study, and it can never be wrong, really. I recommend going on Pinterest or Quick Poses. They're always my go-to. Even though Quick Poses kind of gets repetitive, I know if you're on there a lot, they... It kind of repeats and repeats. It's kind of the same pictures, but it's helpful. Sometimes when I can't do anything else drawing wise, I'll draw some hands or faces and it usually helps me get going again. Also kind of random, but writing helps. And having a journal or diary can really be helpful in getting thoughts and feelings out. Or writing something for a story or a poem or writing down ideas you have, planning. You can still do stuff without having to create artwork. 
just stop. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. This is not always a quick fix, and it's not really accessible for everyone as people rely on art for their job, but a fix that always works for me usually is taking a break completely. Just stopping. It can be hard not to beat yourself up about it, well at least for me, but taking a break for a couple days from drawing can almost be a refresh. I always feel more motivated to draw after not for a couple days or even a week if you need. It just helps me reset. When I actually get back to drawing, I feel fresh and I feel like it's different, it's new. You can make Pinterest folders of things that inspire you, plan an illustration for what you want to do next, look at others' work that keep you inspired. There's a lot you can do without drawing and taking a break sometimes can be the best thing for you to do. So, don't beat yourself up. You can take a break. In the wise words of Billy Joel, you're doing fine. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I know this video was kind of low effort, but I really wanted to upload something because I've just been going through it, man. More stuff coming soon for sure. I've tried to do weekly uploads, but... I'm going to be honest, it's probably not going to happen anytime soon. I'll just say, you'll see me when you see me, okay? <laughs> I hope this helped someone. I'm not good at explaining things. Again, if you want me to go more in depth of my process, I'd totally be down. Remember, it's okay not to go, go, go all the time. You know, we're humans, we're not machines. And if you feel burned out, don't feel bad for doing what you have to do to make yourself feel better. It's okay. Life is insufferably long and it'll wait up for you. Don't worry. Just take a break. It's okay. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and as always, peace.